ability to put the monitors back to work. And third, uh, Alex will serve uh, in a major policy role to ensure that we accomplish those goals. So I'm delighted that Alex has accepted that position. Uh, you all know how capable she is, and uh, I'm really grateful to you, Alex, for taking the job. Uh, second, I want to introduce to you uh, Susan Bartlett. Uh, Susan, uh, you all know, uh, has worked together with me uh, in a variety of capacities over the years. We went into the Senate together, uh, how many years ago? 18 years ago. And uh, Susan uh, is going to serve as a special assistant to the governor. Uh, as you know, uh, Susan has many talents. She served as the first woman chair of the Appropriations Committee in the history of the state. Uh, she served in so many capacities in the legislature over the years. But her skill is, in my judgment, uh, being able to take big ideas and make them happen. Uh, actually taking the vision that we have to create jobs, to put Vermonters back to work, make the infrastructure changes that we've talked about, and practically make them work. So that's going to be the task that Susan will concentrate on as a special assistant to the governor. Uh, third, uh, I want to introduce to you our chief of staff. Uh, our two chief of staff is Bill Lofi. Uh, Bill has worked together closely with me in the legislature. He has extraordinary administrative and policy skills and talent. Uh, it's a great honor to welcome Bill to the role of uh, chief of staff. Uh, he will be the person that keeps the train running and uh, make sure that we work quickly and collaboratively to accomplish the goal. So thank you. Susan, and thank you, Bill. Appreciate it, and welcome aboard. Uh, next, uh, I want to introduce our council, Beth Robinson. Uh, Beth will be the council to the governor. It's an incredibly uh, critical role in ensuring that as we put the pieces in place that will create jobs and increase economic opportunities for homeowners, uh, that we're doing so in all the ways that we should by dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Council to the Governor is an extraordinarily important uh, position, and Beth, I'm delighted to have you aboard. Thank you so much. And we've selected Beth for a number of reasons, but the main one, you all know her well, the main reason is uh, we have a lot of tough things to do. And I've talked about uh, the tough things that we have to accomplish in a short period of time uh, that we have ahead. And I have watched Beth accomplish some of the toughest policy uh, accomplishments. Uh, not only in Vermont, but nationally. Uh, she has a reputation and the skills to get it done, an extraordinary legal mind, and I'm delighted to have Beth Robinson as part of the team. Finally, I want to introduce to you our Secretary of Administration, uh, Jeb Spalding. Uh, Jeb has been good enough to accept uh, my plea uh, to take on the job of Secretary of Administration. Uh, Jeb and I started working together uh, in government uh, a long time ago uh, when we found, when I found myself in a position of uh, having taken back the Senate majority many years ago. Uh, I think there were 11 of us in the Senate at that time. I was a minority leader and we suddenly found that we had 16 when we woke up on election day many, many years ago. Uh, I turned to Jeb to chair the Appropriations Committee uh, and he did an extraordinary job. Uh, at that time, he had been chairing the Education Committee. He has a long uh, list of accomplishments, both in government and the private sector. And the obvious question is, why Jeb? And why did the governor-elect lean on him so hard, uh, and so persistently, uh, to give up a job that he loves? And the answer is this. We have a dual task in this administration of putting the state on a responsible fiscal course where we no longer are looking at unending, de unending deficits, but where our budget goals meet our revenue. There is no one that I can think of uh, that shares my view of a fiscally conservative and carefully managed state budget to bring prosperity to Vermonters uh, that has the skills to do that than Jeb. But the second reason is Jeb, too, has an extraordinary ability to get big things done. I've watched him do it over the years in his various capacities in both private and public sector. Uh, we have a lot of tough things to do, and Jeb can join us uh, in doing, meeting the twin challenge that we have of putting the state on a responsible fiscal spending course 
at the same time that we implement the broad policy uh, options available to us that will put Vermonters back to work and will allow Vermonters and the middle class to prosper again. So I'm extraordinarily delighted to, to introduce our Secretary of Administration, Jeff Spall. And thank you, Jeff, for accepting the show. Thank you, Peter. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's the team for today. Be happy to take any questions you might have, and uh, delighted to uh, be able to introduce to you a, such a solid team that I am extraordinarily grateful to. I know will allow us to get off uh, what we really have is a tough. You know, I said so many times during the campaign, the next governor is going to be able to jug, uh, juggle several hundred balls in the air and land at least most of them most of the time. And I don't think that we could assemble a team more capable of joining me in putting Vermont back to work, in putting Vermont on a fiscal, fiscally responsible spending course uh, than the team that we've assembled. So thank you, and be happy to answer questions if you have them.